Oh, the way she described it was so nice. good, right? But the best answer was reservations. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, sometimes we need to heat things up. All right, so we are talking about Decor. It's an Australian brand that utilizes microwave cooking rather than just reheating. So this is the set of four 38-ounce microwave soup mugs, but you can use it for so many things. With gift boxes, it's case 74346. It's on a QVC price of $29.98. Over 15,000 of these have been sold on QVC since its October debut. That's only a few months ago. All right, so let me show you what you are getting. You're getting four of these 38 ounce microwave soup mugs with the gift boxes, but look at this lid. And look at this, there is something that is going to help you. Oh, I know give you a little ventilation snap right there. All right, so let me go through colors on this because it vents, it steams, and it closes. All right, this beautiful set right here is purple. Then we also have it in red. How festive is that? And are you ready, Chance? Aqua. <laughs> There's so much aqua in this show, Julia. There's a lot of aqua. Yeah, there is. All right, let's bring in Chef Jeremy Parker in the house. Jeremy, what are you making? What are you making over there? Oh, ramen. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so I gave a set of these to my buddy last year. He yeah. calls them his noodle bowls because, I don't know, I... I don't know if it's a California thing. I eat noodles with chopsticks. I, I love it. Yeah. I just, I that's the way I'm used to that. eating noodles. I love ramen. I love instant. Yes. And this makes it so much easier because like Two if minutes. you're going to go into finding a bowl that fits and then you yeah. gotta put plastic on top and it just doesn't work, this cooks it. It's not even reheating it. It's cooking it as well. Right, Jeremy? That, well, that's right. And this is Decor, which is an Australian company that makes cookware for the microwave, not just microwave that. safe um, storage where it's made for it, it's BPA free, it's dishwasher safe, but it also has a very interesting, if you open that up and look inside, Ooh. you notice there's a hump in there. See oh, that yeah. little hump? What so is that what that for? does, oh, so when you're heating up things like soup yeah. or noodles or rice, instead of it being lava hot around the outside and right. cold in the center, it allows the heat to get up so inside the liquid. So it heats it up in the center as well as the outside. It's just a better microwave bowl. It has a stay cool touch handle on the side. So even though if it's hot around the outside, you can hold it. The lid, even though it has a pour spout, which your spoon can go into, the lid traps all that moisture in there. So if you're reheating food, it stays fresher. If you're boiling things like veggies, you can take the lid off and boil like that or your noodles. And it has a nice capacity too. And, and in fact, here, I've got two, two big things of, of soup right here. Because this is the time of year Nancy, that we're going to the cupboard, yeah, you know, and we're pulling out cans of soup, and it's we're like, like oh my gosh, time. Jeremy, it, it's it really time. is soup time. Even just, I call it just canned food time. Yeah, because you know it what, is. it's Too cold. I just want. There's we, so many good canned minus, chilies. What is it? Five degrees. It five degrees. Five degrees. Five last degrees. Night. Yeah. I mean, who? who my husband can't even go to the market, Julia. We only have one car, so he's gonna have canned soup. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, and and what's great is that. See, even though this has that pour spout, it is. Um, liquid tight right there, but okay. when you when you go to store things, what you do is you want to press this and close it, and that's going to give it a airtight seal. When you're warming things up, pop that little vent, put this in your microwave. It's going to keep things soft, like noodles, chicken, spaghetti, anything like that. But you can also cook in it. So if you want to do, here's some rice that we reheated in here, and believe it or not, this rice done in the microwave is pretty darn good. Only takes about 90 seconds to do that much rice. Now, you can reheat your fried rice if you like, and it won't dry it out. I did a little bit of water. These oh, were I raw vegetables. This. Okay, and just did raw you just veggies. Like steam it almost? It steams it. And wow. then what I did is I took the I took the lid like this and I poured the excess water out. Uh -huh. And I'm left with just nice, fresh, vibrant. It's the steam cooked it. It's not like it's microwaved, it's actually using steam. The microwave's just creating the steam. And it gives you that. And then my favorite is this. These were frozen shrimp. I put garlic butter mm, inside of here. Yes. It takes about three and a half to four minutes. And you are going to have, you would never believe this was done in a microwave. I Is that there's I there's some of that, but 
And I'll tell you what, garlic butter, and that is just so good. I've done an entire meal inside of here in the microwave to clean it up. You just have one bowl for each dish. It goes in the dishwasher. Use them again and again and again. Jeremy, you're saying yeah. that you took that frozen shrimp, you put it in raw. there, raw, raw shrimp, right? And raw you put it in shrimp. there, and you put a little seasonings in there. You did a couple minutes on the microwave, and it came out like that. Yeah, three and a half minutes now. I, I take about a minute and a half, stir it up, you know, and then and then let it finish. And yeah, and every microwave is different. Yours might take three minutes. Right. It might take four minutes, depending on how what the wattage is. But this is cookware for your microwave. So I have to show you something though. Oh yeah. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull it out of here. Okay, this has been a big hit. I can't wait for our, you to show me. Our, our, our QVC customers, I've shared this recipe with so many. This is a chocolate lava cake made from scratch. What? Baking in the microwave is a thing. Hang on. What I'm going to do is just put this oh, on here, okay? Good. Let me flip this over here, and I hope that release is nice. Are okay. you kidding me right now? now? Like, you could take that as a hostess, like, steam. gift yeah. to a party and say, oh, look, oh. I baked this. I, I microwaved it, but I baked it, right? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, you've heard wow. of mug cakes and, and cakes done in the microwave. It's a thing. As long as you don't overcook it, some say you get this really nice, moist consistency. Believe it or not, just don't overdo it. Let me put oh, some chocolate sauce over the top me. of that. Okay, and then I'm going to just cut into this. And I mean, Is if you, it a if you lava how, cake on the inside? That's my A favorite. lava cake on the inside. Are yeah, you, you going to share this recipe? You have to go on Julia and yes. my Facebook and share this recipe because I is, love chocolate lava cake like that. So, How many minutes? Yeah, this is on, it's on my um, Jeremy Parker QVC okay. on Facebook and Instagram now, but I can repost it if you like. It's it's on there. If you go back I a few pictures. I can't believe you made that. All right, by the recipe. way, Jeremy, you're getting four minutes. of these. Three and a half minutes. Wow, to chocolate Lava cake de deliciousness. All right, you're getting a set of four of these. So this color is aqua. And then we have purple, red. I like the red, how festive is that? You're getting a set of four, and then I have purple. We only have less than 100, how many? 150 in the red, and then I have this purple set right here. This is really a great size as well. Are you gonna show us more? Last but not least, because is that hey, Eagle's about to play. Is that queso? This is some queso. Oh. This is just really easy. You know what that is? It's just some salsa and Velveeta cheese, and that's really it. And you melt it together. You know, give it a little stir after a couple of minutes until it gets that consistency. And that's all you have to do. It's. I mean, you can make fancy stuff over the stove, or you can just it's do this, because so be honest, those, those football... People dishwasher. watching football all game, they're, they're half drunk anyway. I <laughs> never know. <laughs> it's microwave, dishwasher, and freezer safe. I'm telling you, this will kind of like make your microwave oven into a cooking machine, right? And it's mm. such a great way to do it. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm dying. Queso and ramen. You had me at that. All right. Thank mm. you, Chef. Thank you.